we're here with John and uh, he's been trying to explain to me that this used to be his home. This is the very tree he was found, but it was a bit short when he could climb it. This is the story of a boy who was raised by monkeys. John Sewia from Uganda disappeared into the jungle where he was discovered and raised by vivid monkeys. It is not clear exactly how old Sebunya was when he started his new life among the monkeys, but it is believed he spent close to a year with the primates. During that time, he survived by watching the primates and mimicking their behavior. Sebunya's transformation was truly startling. He acted more like a monkey than a human. Here are 10 unbelievable facts about the boy who was raised by monkeys. He fled a violent home. Sibuya was one of the unlucky ones to be born in the days of Uganda's civil war. He lived with his parents until he was about three and then for the fear of his abusive father fled into the jungle. The monkeys taught him how to survive. Sibuya was all alone in the jungle for several days or even weeks before he was approached by the vivid monkeys who offered him food. At first, the monkeys were very cautious until they decided Sibuya posed no threat. About two weeks later, they let Sibuya join them. As they traveled around the jungle, they taught him how to find food and climb trees. He was totally covered in hair. When Sibuya was discovered living with the monkeys, nobody could have even thought he was human because he didn't only act like a monkey, he had long hair that covered his face and body. The locals were so frightened because they thought he was a monster. The hair wasn't the only thing that was off about Sibunya's appearance. He was wild and because Sibunya mostly walked on his knees, his knees were entirely white. His nails grew so long they curled around his fingers. The monkeys tried to protect him from his rescuers. The family of monkeys who took Sebunya in didn't want to let him go. They tried to scare off the rescuers by making lots of noise and throwing stones and sticks. Sebunya obviously fought as well because he didn't want to leave his newly found home. Eventually, he got separated from the primates. He was riddled with tapeworms. When Sebunya was rescued, he was taken to a nearby village where he was fed with hot food and water. He got terribly ill from the change in diet. At one point, his caretakers reportedly removed long tapeworms from his body. Some believe he was an evil spirit. Believe it or not, the villagers who rescued Sebunya had a difficult time dealing with his behavior. He was unable to walk, he had no language skills, he jumped, he screamed, and he beat people. In other words, he acted just like a monkey. Before Sebuya was taken to an orphanage, some villagers wanted to kill him because they believed Sebuya is an evil spirit. He actually lived with monkeys. Now, many people doubted a human could actually be raised by monkeys. So, as part of the BBC's documentary on Sebuya, anthropologists placed him in a group of vivid monkeys, the kind that had supposedly raised him just to see what would happen. They discovered Sebunya and the primate were able to communicate at a level that would have taken an average human years to achieve. This experiment indicated that Sebunya is closer to a real-life Tarzan than any other feral child studied. He has a beautiful voice. After Sebunya was rescued, he had to learn how to behave like a human. That meant learning how to speak. Fast forward a few years and those around him were shocked to discover he was a very good singer. Sebunya toured around the world with the Pearl of Africa's Children's Choir, sharing his story and his beautiful voice. He competed in the Special Olympics twice. Sebunya experienced delayed mental development, but he was incredibly athletic. As a result, he was eligible to compete in the Special Olympics. In 1999, he ran the marathon, and then in 2001, he captained Uganda's Special Olympics football team. Now that is an achievement. He continued to display unusual mannerisms. Sebunya exhibits behavior he learned from his stay with the monkeys. He exposes his gums whenever he smiled and also loved to pick up objects using his wrists instead of his hands. And since he spent time on all fours with the monkeys, he looked unbalanced and awkward whenever he walked. He's grateful for his unusual upbringing. You might expect Sebuya to be haunted by the memories of his past years or the curiosity and fear he inspired in the villages. But Sebuya is grateful beyond expectation. He would say, they were just interested. People were interested. I don't really think bad of them for that. I was different. As for the monkeys themselves, Sebuya said this. 
am grateful. Yes, I am. Because not because of love from them, from, from the monkeys, but because what they did made it possible for me to be loved by other people, by humans. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave us a like, leave us a comment. Share with a friend on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. As usual, I'm your host, Murphy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Before Sibuya was <coughs> before Sibuya was taken, before Sibuya was taken to an orphanage, some villagers wanted to kill him because they believed Sibuya was an orphan. Before Sibuya was taken to an orphanage, some villagers. Were